The annual Beijing International Automobile Show kicked off on Monday with a record 1,125 vehicles vying for the attention of the world's biggest auto market. Despite its slowing economic growth, the Asian giant is a great source of hope in the industry as people snap up sport utility vehicles, luxury cars, and in the future, many brands hope green vehicles. You know, SUV is one of the fastest growing segments in China, and some people think 2.5 million units were sold last year. We've done some research on it. A lot of people are buying an SUV for their second vehicle, when they buy a second vehicle, to have versatility and to have that um, flexibility with the vehicle. Also, people like the higher seating point. They can see over what's going on in front of them. There's a lot of traffic, a lot of congestion, so they can see what's going on ahead of them. Rolls Royce, Ferrari, and Maserati also introduced flashy new models. Chinese consumers bought 2.1 million SUVs last year, an increase of 25% and representing almost 12% of total light vehicle sales. Car sales in China climbed 5% in 2011, the slowest pace since the nation's car culture took off at the turn of the century as consumers shunned local brands after Beijing scrapped tax incentives for small cars. Vehicle sales dropped by 3.4% in the first quarter of 2012, but Mercedes have sold 54,000 passenger cars, up 24% in the first three months of the year. First of all, there's no stronger brand than their Mercedes brand with their three-pointed star. Uh, secondly, we are in the middle of a product offensive where we will add uh, 10 new vehicles to our portfolio, plus replacing the ones which exist. Um, and as the Chinese customer reacts to create new product, we are very confident uh, to grow faster than our competitors. China said last week it wants to have 5 million hybrid and electric vehicles on the road by 2020. Solid demand for foreign brands helped China keep its ranking as the world's top market, with total car sales of 14.5 million, about 2 million more than in the United States last year. China is, is taking a very uh, strong uh, position. Uh, versus EV. As leaders of the zero emission and EV cars in the world, we have to bring our technology and bring our products. The Chinese want us to put it under a Chinese name. We selected Venusia. Uh, so you're going to see a lot of electric cars uh, with Nissan technology coming under the Venusia name. The outlook for 2012 is expected to improve thanks to still robust automobile demand in lower tier cities, which are catching up with major metropolitan areas as major growth engines. Jessica Minton, IB Times TV.